Canes win today. Solid, you know, great. Canes win, you know. Uh, it's always good to see the Carolina Hurricanes win, obviously. I like the Hurricanes so much, I started making videos about it. Why am I mad right now? Because Carolina was up three, no, yeah, three to nothing against a below 500 team. I'm thinking, okay, great. They got this in the bag. Let's come out. Let's play some good defensive hockey in the third period. Let's win. What does this team do? They go two goals in the third period. Why? Because, I don't know, Carolina hates the third period, okay? They like playing overtime, they like giving up points, or they like getting an extra point, okay? They just do not like winning games in the third period. I don't get it. I don't know why. What have I been saying? You know, this isn't an out-of-the-nowhere rant. I don't care that we won today, okay? The fact that we almost gave up a three-goal lead this time in the third period to a team that has been playing not that uh, to a team that has had bad luck of late and has not been playing great hockey of late is unacceptable when you're trying to be a Stanley Cup contender. It's just not. I've been saying from game two, Carolina needs to defend the lead. I get it. They won today. They got the win. That's all that matters. That's all it's going to say on the score sheet, but it's a negative sign for the team going forward. And yeah, I'm a little bit pissed off because I sat there and I watched it again. I am literally feeling like a broken record. These videos are turning out the same every goddamn time because the Carolina Hurricanes, win or lose, have the same issues every single game. They do not know how to defend the lead. They just don't. They don't like it. And it is ridiculous. Now, on to the good. Steven Lawrence gets his first goal. And Carolina admittedly played very well in the first two periods. Third period was awful. But I already covered that. I already covered why it's so bad. A lot of it's the same stuff. Take a stupid penalty. Oh, well, take a stupid penalty. What else do you do? You leave a guy open in the slot. But on to the good stuff, okay? Aho played well. I don't think Svechnikov played particularly well, but Svechnikov worked hard, and for a guy going through a cold streak, when you see him working hard, that's a sign he's going to end it soon. And, you know, like, working hard is nothing but good signs. I have literally been in situations, with many, because I wasn't great at hockey, where I was not satisfied with how I was playing hockey, and I basically had to will myself into playing a good game by skating really hard all game. I see the same thing in Svechnikov's game. And you know what? Kudos to him. He drew the penalty that basically iced the game because it was 5-on-5 five five with an empty net. So, good on Svechnikov. And Reimer played phenomenal. Yes, Reimer played phenomenal. And the other uh, good defenseman. Or the other good players were Carolina's fourth line to me. They played uh, very well. And, yeah, so who would I give player of the game? I would probably normally give it to Ajo, got two goals. But you know what? Part of the feel-good side of me, I want to feel a little bit good after that two-minute rant after the Hurricanes won a game for crying out loud. I'll give it to Steven Lorenz. Steven Lorenz gets Hurricane of the game. His first uh, NHL playoff goal has been... A long time coming and I gotta tell you I'm pretty happy for him especially during the post game interview the man was through the moon and I hate the intermission the post game interviews I don't get why players have to answer for it if you want to do interviews before the game fine that one I don't mind as much because you know they don't ask the obvious questions you get a little bit of insight you know whatever but I don't like uh, the, but you know what Steven Lawrence's game is the exception to the general rule it's just a feel-good thing. There were there players who played better, probably, but considering Carolina's fourth line was the funnest to watch. They were throwing the body around. They were the only line that was consistently good throughout the game. Yeah. So I'm going to give it to Stephen Lorenz for the feel-good side of it. However, I think Ajo objectively played a better game, but, you know, hurricane a game doesn't always have to be who played the best uh, game. So, yep. Uh, and then is there anything else? Carolina plays on today's Tuesday, so yeah, they'll be playing, no, 
day. Yeah, today's Tuesday. We'll be playing on Thursday, and I'll see you guys uh, then. Now, more importantly, what did you guys think about the game? Uh, if you guys uh, comment down below, do you think my rant was a little overblown? It just, I feel like a broken record. Like, I don't know how many times I can sit here and tell you guys, Canes need to learn how to defend elite. So, sorry about that. I know they won. I should be in a better mood. But, yeah. Uh, but it's just, it, it's, it's ridiculous. Like, yeah. But comment down below, do you guys think I was overblown? What do you guys think about the game? How happy are you about Stephen Lawrence getting his first career goal? long time coming and uh if you guys like the content i'm producing here on the channel don't forget to uh um hit like and subscribe and i'll see you guys thursday versus the uh i think detroit i think it is detroit i, I literally checked this before the game yes versus detroit on thursday see you then